in the last video uh, we have seen a brief introduction about regression lines as well as the correlation coefficient and we have solved a problem too now let's see more problems based on this here in this question they have given x and y and they are asked you to find the correlation coefficient that is r so x is given y is given first what we will do we will find x bar that is add all the x values that is 1 plus 2 plus 3 plus 4 plus 5 plus 6 plus 7 7 values are there if you add it we are getting 28 by 7 this is mean of x similarly add all the y values 9 plus 8 plus 10 plus 12 plus 11 plus 13 plus 14 divided by total number of values given is 7 so you have got y bar so once you got x bar and y bar what you have to do you have to find capital X and capital Y so what is capital X? Small x minus x bar. 1 minus x bar is 4. 1 minus 4 minus 3. 2 minus 4 minus 2. 3 minus 4 minus 1. 4 minus 4, 0. 5 minus 4, 1. 6 minus 4, 2. 7 minus 4, 3. We have written capital X. Once you have written capital X, take a pencil and cancel this small x because we won't be using that for calculation similarly you have to find capital y what is y formula y minus y bar y minus what is y bar here 11 okay so 9 minus 11 that is minus 2 be careful with the sign 8 minus 11 minus 3 10 minus 11 minus 1 12 minus 11 1 11 minus 11 0 13 minus 11 2 14 minus 11 3 so you've got capital y also so once you got x and y what you have to find the other required values you can write this in any order okay so uh, now we can find x y that is we are going to multiply x value and y value so uh, minus 3 into minus 2 it is plus 6 minus 2 into minus 3 again plus 6 minus 1 into minus 1 plus 1 and then anything into 0 0 same applies here 2 2 are 4 3 3 are 9 so we have got x y x square we are going to square all the x values that is capital x not small x that's why i told you to cross this x and y values once it's taken just cross this out so capital uh, x square is minus 3 square 9 minus 2 square 4 minus 1 square 1 and other values you are going to square and write it Similarly, you are going to square y values, minus 2 square 4, minus 3 square 9 and so on. Okay. So, uh, now we are going to add all these values. This is nothing but summation. So, when you are writing here, you can write summation of capital y square. Okay. So, similarly, this is summation capital x square. And what is this? Summation capital xy. Okay. So, now we have to just apply the formula. What is the formula to find R? Here if you see, I have written the formula R is equal to summation xy by square root of summation of x square into summation of y square. What is summation of xy from the tabular column 26 by square root of 28 into square root of 28 because both the values came as 28 in this problem. So, root 28 into root 28 is nothing but 28. So, 26 by 28, you are getting this answer. R is 0.9285. So, if they ask only correlation coefficient, then you can use this formula and find this directly. For the same problem, if they ask regression lines, then you can use this formula for the regression line. Okay. So, this is another way. After finding the regression uh, lines, you will be using the correlation coefficient. That is what we have seen in the last class. Okay. So, now uh, if they ask only correlation coefficient, you can finish this problem with this. Now, I want you to try on your own to find the regression lines. So, with this the problem is over. Now, I am extending the problem. Find the regression line and hence find correlation coefficient. If they ask like that, then we will be using this formula. Capital Y is equal to summation XY by summation X square into capital X. Remember, this is what we did in the last class. So, capital Y is nothing but Y minus Y bar 
is equal to summation of xy by summation of x square into x minus x bar. When you are solving this, you are getting y minus 11 is equal to 26 by 28 into x minus 4. When you simplify, you are getting this equation. y is equal to 0.9285x plus 7.286. This is y on x. y on x. Similarly, you are going to find x on y. Two regression lines are there. In some questions, they will ask only one. So, you can find those regression line. Say, uh, find r means you will find r by directly using this formula and find only the regression line of y on x means with this the problem will be over. So, if they ask both regression lines, then this is the second one. x minus x bar is equal to summation of xy by summation of y square into y minus y bar. Just substitute x bar is 4, y bar is 11 and these are the values. And when you are simplifying it, x is 0.9285y minus 6.2136. So now you, this is one regression line, this is another regression line. So what is the coefficient of x here? 0 0.9285. What is coefficient of y here? So this is also uh, 0.9285. Correct? So even you can use this formula r is equal to plus r minus square root of coefficient of x into coefficient of y. So, 0 0.9285 into 0 0.9285 you got the same answer. So, initially without regression lines I used this formula to get r value. So, either you can find regression lines first and then r. So, in your question if they ask only r do not waste your time in finding the regression line directly you can use this formula to find now see this question, obtain the regression line of y on x for the following data. Here they did not ask r, they asked only the regression line of y on x. And also they have asked estimate the value of y when x is equal to 10. Okay. So um, x values and y values are given. As I told you if you use the second formula, we are going to have the same tabular column. So, this is uh, small x and this is small y. First, what you have to find? x bar. Add all the x values. 1 plus 3 plus 4 plus 6 plus 8 plus 9 plus 11 plus 14 divided by how many values they have given? 8. So, if you calculate, you will get 7. Similarly, you have to add all the y values and then divide it by total number of values given is 8. So, you will get y bar. So, y bar is we got x bar, we got y bar. Directly you can write what is capital X. In this way you will avoid mistakes. Okay. So, do not write small x and small y in the tabular column. Okay. Capital X is nothing but small x minus x bar that is x minus 7. 1 minus 7 minus 6. What is the second x value? It is given in this order. Okay. Second x value in the question they will give like this, not like this. Second x value is 3, 3 minus 7 minus 4. And then third x value 4 minus 7 minus 3. Then 6 minus 7 minus 1. 8 minus 7 1. 9 minus 7 2. 11 minus 7. And then the last one 14 minus 7. We have got 7. So all these values capital X. Similarly what is capital Y? Y minus Y bar. What is Y bar here? Y minus 5. So we have written all the y values that is 1 minus 5 minus 4, 2 minus 5 minus 3, then la next values 4 minus 5 minus 1. Again here 4 minus 5, these values are repeated 4 minus 5 again minus 1, next 5 minus 5 0, 7 minus 5 2, 8 minus 5 3, 9 minus 5 4. So we have written capital X capital Y, what is the next one? X into Y, so minus 6 into minus 4 plus 24. Next one is x square minus 6 square 36. Next one is y square minus 4 square 16. Similarly, we are going to multiply x and y and then square x square y like this for all the values. Finally, what we will do? We will add up all the values. This is summation. Please be careful when you are adding some value. If there are negative values, you have to subtract to those values from the positive ones. So, once you got all the summation, just what you have to find? The regression line of y on x alone. What is the formula for regression line of y on x? y minus y bar is equal to 
summation of x y by summation of x square into x minus x bar. This is a formula, correct? And we know uh, what are those values? That is y minus phi is equal to what is summation of x y? 84 by summation of x square is 132 into x minus x bar, x minus 7. You are going to simplify and write y is equal to this minus phi you are taking to the other side and simplifying it and the 0.636 into x and then 0.636 into minus 7. This minus 5 if it goes to the other side plus 5 it will become. So, you are getting this value. Okay. So, this is the regression line of y on x. Now, in this equation, what is the next question they have asked? Find the value of y when x is equal to 10. So, substitute x is equal to 10 in this, you will get the corresponding y value. Okay. So, in this question, they did not ask you r, they have asked you to find only the regression line of y on x. So, if they give y on x, you will get this equation and substitute the uh, x value to find the corresponding y. Okay. So, what is required that you have to find it. Just take a look at this uh, problem. Here they are asking you to find the correlation coefficient or regression line whatever it is. Here they have used the uh, standard deviation formula. I told you right we can use this formula also to find. So, in case if you are finding standard deviation then uh, we have to find x square sigma x square sigma y square minus sigma z. The z is nothing but x minus y. Here there is no capital X capital Y. So, you will subtract these values write it as z and then you will square all these values. So, this is the formula sigma x square is summation of x square by n minus x bar the whole square. You might have studied these standard deviation formulas already. Similarly, you will find sigma y square and similarly you will find sigma z square. z square is nothing but uh, x minus y that is what you have found in the tabular column. And finally, you will substitute in the formula to get r value. Okay. So, this is uh, one more method to find r by using standard deviation formula. But I would suggest you to follow the previous uh, formula because in that case the tabular column is very easy and uh, you can find out regression line. And uh, for this problem you have to remember this formula also and uh, the formula for sigma x square. So, if you follow this method you have to memorize this plus this. So, two formulas you have to memorize but there if you follow that only one formula. So, what we have seen today is like a standard type of problem that is finding R, the correlation coefficient, finding the regression line and then finding only x on y or only y on x and uh, find y if x is this, find x if y is this and all those things. And these are the other type of problems that we will see it in the next video. That is if they have given two regression lines and they are asking you to find R from those. So, but you do not know which is x on y, which is y on x. So, you have to fix that uh, by using small trick that I will teach you in the next video. This and one more derivation is there. So, let us continue in the next class. Thank you.